This is Noah Abelson, CEO and co-founder of ShareRoot. Wanted to take the chance to provide a little bit of context on top of the investor presentation. I'm going to go pretty quickly through it uh, so that it doesn't turn into a lengthy video. But definitely don't hesitate to pause at different junctures. There's a good amount of information in text. Definitely worth checking out. And the way that we're going to break this up is first talk about where ShareRoot has been. Next, talk about where things currently are at for ShareRoot. And lastly, what the future looks like. Start with the market. ShareRoot is a company in the MarTech space, which stands for marketing tech. It is a massive addressable growing market. Uh, it's larger than any other marketing market in our history, and it is growing faster than any other marketing market in our history. And ShareRoot is poised to take a huge chunk of the large pie. Now, roughly about a year ago, uh, we launched the platform that is now ShareRoot. And the reason for that and the way that we came to it is we sat down and had conversations with brand marketers and social media marketers at brands like UCLA and McDonald's and Costco and Quicken Loans and ConAgra and the list goes on. And we asked them about the pain points um, for their jobs currently. And what we found was they said, our jobs have completely changed as marketers within the last five to 10 years because of the emergence of social media platforms. Suddenly, as a brand marketer, you have to tweet, post, pin, reblog, and have a presence, your brand, on each and every social media platform. And the problem that they all felt was they simply don't know what to do on each social media platform they definitely don't have the content that they need to be able to tweet, post, pin, and reblog. And they have also realized that because of where technology has gone, specific to smartphones, because we all have smartphones now, and the cameras on each of our smartphones are very good, uh, each person, each consumer, each individual walking around on a daily basis is their own photographer. And the brand marketers are saying, we want to get our hands on that content. We want to be able to use the content that people are taking uh, on their phones, specifically their photos and the pictures that they're taking. Now, lastly, brands like UCLA, brands like McDonald's said, we want to use those photos. We want to use those pictures, but we cannot do that unless you get a contract signed for us, ShareRoot for each and every photo that we want to use in our marketing efforts. So again, just about a year ago, uh, we launched ShareRoot's platform. It is the only platform that puts the legal licensing and permissioning in front of consumers so that within a few clicks, social media managers, brand managers, log into ShareRoot's tool, search for user-generated content, and then request legal licensing and access to be able to use that content in their marketing efforts. We use APIs, special access within Instagram, Facebook, and certain features of ShareRoot's product in Twitter to pull in that content. Now, the reason why legal licenses need to be signed why a brand like McDonald's can't just grab your photo once you post it on Facebook and use it in their marketing is because universally throughout the world, there have been numerous multi-million dollar lawsuits placed on brands like or against brands like Lorna Jane, Virgin Australia, and many others because they did just that. They grabbed people's photos and used them in their marketing, which they're not allowed to do. Specific to the tool, what you're looking at here is tier one of ShareRoot's platform. Uh, what it enables a brand to do is search for user-generated content, those photos you see in front of you here, either by keyword or hashtag, right? So what does somebody write in the comment section under a photo that they post on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter to provide context to other people? Um, or a brand manager can even drop a pin on a map 
anywhere on any location throughout the world, and in real time, ShareRoot's platform pulls in user-generated content from that area so that, again, within a few clicks, a brand can request legal licensing and access to that image. It's a great tool. It's a great feature of the tool. A uh, succinct example of that is McDonald's, who's utilizing ShareRoot's platform for 38 different locations in Texas. And what McDonald's is able to do is drop a pin on a local McDonald's, pull in content and photos from right around that area in real time. So if you can imagine a random person, a guy named Matt, who's taken a photo of he and his wife standing in front of their new house, and a McDonald's in Texas happens to be three blocks away, and two or three minutes after Matt takes that photo and posts it to Instagram, the local McDonald's from a few blocks away reaches out and says, Hey, Matt, we'd love to use your photo in our marketing. Uh, this tool, ShareRoot's platform, is completely changing the landscape of marketing. Because in that example, Matt has only been used to McDonald's saying, eat this product, buy these fries, and come to our store. And at this moment, when McDonald's reaches out through ShareRoot's platform, the whole marketing model is flipped on its head because McDonald's is saying to Matt, we like what you've got going on. Next, this is tier two of ShareRoot's platform. It's user-generated content galleries. Why did we create these? Well, we created these because, again, brands like ConAgra, brands like UCLA, brands like StubHub were turning around and saying to us, ShareRoot, you've helped us get access to user-generated content. Now we want to be able to display it on every and any digital property that we have. So what we mean by that is creating galleries of user-generated content, like you can see here in front of you, and putting it on a website, on a blog, on a Facebook tab to get more Facebook users to upload their images, on a big screen at a local sporting event, or even on a product page. Because what statistics show is if you can show what somebody looks like in that pair of jeans, a visitor to that product page, when they're deciding whether they're going to make the purchase and buy that pair of jeans, they're more likely to buy the pair of jeans when they can see photos of it. So share root galleries uh, enable our clients to, within a few minutes and a few clicks, again, create galleries that they can put on any digital display and medium that they have. Now, where have things gotten to for share root? The numbers speak for themselves. Consumers need to interact with user-generated content before they make purchases, and they are interested in finding user-generated content, they are interested in listening to user-generated content, and that number is over only increasing from here. ShareRoot's clients see an overwhelming improvement in engagement on the photos that they pull through ShareRoot's platform. So when a client, when a brand like McDonald's, when a brand like Coleman Camping requests legal licensing to an image, gets it through ShareRoot's platform and then posts it to a social media platform or even prints it out on a sheet of paper and puts it up at a local McDonald's, uh, that image is way more effective than any other image that they can get. Here's a quick example of a happy client for ShareRoot. StubHub is the biggest ticketing uh, company in the U.S., owned by eBay. Their problem was simple. They needed 30 to 50 times the amount of content for their marketing efforts because the MarTech industry is growing and changing. They didn't know how or where to get that content, so they started using ShareRoot. What happened from there? They have seen massive, large increases in engagement across all of their platforms, as you can see. Another example, UCLA, also huge lift in engagement when utilizing content that they pull through ShareRoot's platform. Now, how does the future look for ShareRoot? So this is the third section. ShareRoot is creating a SaaS business, software as a service. The SaaS businesses, the successful SaaS businesses before ShareRoot have laid the path to success. 
Whether you're Salesforce, Zenefits, Zero, Hootsuite, HubSpot, it doesn't matter. When you build a successful SaaS business, you pay attention to the metrics that matter. What are those metrics? Churn is the first. What percent of uh, your clients are trying to break a contract that's existing? Next, renewals. What percentage of your clients are happy to renew and sign a new contract once their contract is up? Next, feature upselling. The easiest prospect to sell to, prospective client, is a current client. In other words, the way that each of these businesses have grown is by getting their clients onto their tool and paying the lowest amount for the lowest tier of their product. And then from there, you upsell and you continue to upsell. And lastly, getting feature requests, getting feature feedback by brands. And the way to do that is to push your product out early. When you have a new feature, release it, get brands using it, and they will start giving you feedback as to what they want to see and what improvements which is exactly what we have done with the go-to-market strategy. As you can see here, we've pushed tier three forward a few months. One reason for that is our development team, our engineering team that's creating the product uh, is surpassing goals. Uh, and the other reason is we are getting more brands onto the platform uh, than we had expected and we had projected as a group. Enterprise, we've pushed back because enterprise is all about custom work. And when you create a software as a service business, you want to optimize towards, you want to push as many clients as possible towards the product that is ready to use that day at that minute, rather than custom work that needs to be done. So where does the focus for 2016 for ShareRoot sit? It's about focusing on all of those metrics, churn, renewal, feature feedback, getting the product out there. Now, Costco's recent renewal that we put a press release out on is a great example of that. So let's look at the metrics. Churn, did Costco try to break their contract at any point? No, never reached out about uh, anything negative the entire time that they have been using ShareRoot's platform. Renewal, were they happy to renew? Well, our sales team was planning on reaching out to them a week before the contract was up and done. Uh, but instead, Costco itself reached out a month before the contract was done, said, hey, ShareRoot, we love using the platform. Uh, we want to renew our contract right now moving forward. Uh, feature requests, feature feedback. Costco consistently uh, on a weekly basis is giving us feedback on our features. Our customer success manager was chatting with them earlier this week. And a nice bonus to SaaS businesses when you can get it is you look for referrals. Uh, you look for current clients to refer other clients. So has that happened with Costco? Absolutely yes. What happens specifically? Well, Costco Canada and Costco Mexico reached out to our sales team themselves and said, hey, ShareRoot, we've heard great things about your product because Costco USA loves it and uses it, and they've re recommended that we use ShareRoot's platform. We didn't even ask Costco USA to refer any clients to us. And now we have two additional prospective long-term clients in the form of Costco Canada and Costco Mexico. Now, 2017 is when we will shift our focus more towards revenue. Uh, the good news here is ShareRoot is going to focus more on revenue at a way earlier stage than the previous SaaS businesses uh, that you saw a few slides before, some of which continue to burn more capital um, than they are actually pulling in. Uh, ShareRoot, on the other hand, will hit a break-even point uh, many years before those clients did uh, in their, I mean, those platforms did in their lifespan. And lastly, again, as I mentioned before, focus is on tier two and tier three, the tiers of the product that are out of the box, ready to be used by clients. So all around for ShareRoot, it's just the beginning. Uh, the MarTech space is only growing. 91% of brands are on more than one social channel and 70% of marketers plan on increasing their dollars spent on content marketing, on visual marketing. 
Our friends over at Foundation Capital expect over a 10x increase in the next 10 years of money spent by chief marketing officers to the tune of over $120 billion. And lastly, following in the footsteps of successful SaaS companies before us, ShareRoot is utilizing the principles that enable rapid client onboarding and expensive product growth simultaneously at the same time. ShareRoot to date, a few other fun stats. Our clients love us. We are sitting at 0% churn, meaning that every single client that has joined ShareRoot's platform and has been paying for it not only continues to use it, but also continues to pay. This also, of course, enables us to get more clients onto the platform quickly because we don't have to be worried about using them. We're a Silicon Valley-based company, poised and positioned uh, adequately and ideally within the MarTech space that is only growing from here. And our client list uh, with limited resources in a short amount of time with a small sales team includes McDonald's, Costco, Quicken Loans, eBay, ConAgra, the list goes on from there. And one of our points of focus in the future, which you'll be hearing about, is building out the sales team. So you can only imagine what the future looks like for us. Lastly, quote from StubHub, take a look at it, read through it, and appreciate you taking the time. Thanks so much.